Hey guys, my name's Jay and welcome back to the Canadian Crypt. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today I'll be displaying my current rock and metal band shirt collection. Now for me personally, rock and metal music has always gone hand in hand with horror whether it be through the imagery or through the lyrical content. And I've had a few people over on my Instagram interested in seeing the collection. So just know this is still a horror focused channel. This is just a one-off thing that I thought might be interesting. Starting off, I have a Rob Zombie Alice Cooper shirt. And that is when I saw them on the Gruesome Toursome Tour back in 2010, I believe. Very cool tour. I've seen Rob Zombie a handful of times since. I've only seen Alice Cooper once. I was actually supposed to see him again in 2020, but we all know how 2020 went. Up next we have an At The Gates shirt. Now, if you're unfamiliar with At The Gates, they're a Swedish melodic death metal band, and I actually got this when I saw them two years ago when they came here on tour with Amon Amarth and Arch Enemy. Really cool band and an awesome performance. Up next we have a shirt from a local Vancouver-based band, and that is Assimilation, and the artwork is from their Laws of Power album. Very cool, kind of old-school death metal sounding band. Up next I have a shirt from an Ontario-based technical death metal band called Apoc. Now I saw them a couple years back and their performance blew me away so I felt the need to buy the shirt. I think it's a pretty cool design. Up next we have a shirt from one of my favorite technical death metal bands and that is Aborted with their Retro Gore shirt design. And I got this when I saw them on the Devastation of the Nation tour I believe in 2018. This one's actually an older shirt of mine and this is from the Canadian post-hardcore band Alexis on Fire when I saw them back in 2010 I believe on tour with Billy Talent Cancer Bats and against me. Up next we have another Canadian based band and that is Apollyon based out of Kelowna BC. They are a black and death metal band which I've seen a handful of times. Very cool stuff, highly recommend checking them out. Now this is probably one of my oldest band shirts which I believe I bought in Bellingham and this is this Anthrax shirt which I'll show you guys the back of. A yeah, fun little design there. I don't really wear it much anymore because it's kind of too big for me but still a really cool design. Up next we have a shirt from an event that I look forward to every year and that is Armstrong Metal Fest. It was actually headlined by Revocation that year along with many amazing Canadian bands. Up next we have my Armstrong Metal Fest 2018 shirt. For 2018 it was headlined by bands such as Cataclysm, Arc Spire, The Kennedy Vale, Sarah Longfield, among many other amazing Canadian bands. Up next I have a shirt from the last Armstrong Metal Fest I was able to attend before COVID and that is the 2019 edition which was headlined by bands such as Origin, Necrogoblicon, uh, Entheos, Wake, Within Destruction, among many other amazing bands. Up next I have a shirt from one of the best Canadian tech death bands, and that is Arc Spire's Relentless Mutation album cover. Followed by something I really don't wear, I actually keep it on my wall, and that is the Arc Spire basketball jersey. Up next we have another Arc Spire shirt, very cool design on the front. Moving on to letter B, we have a Billy Talent tour shirt, which I got back in 2010. They put on a great show, and on the back of the shirt, it has their tour dates. Up next, we have another shirt from a local Vancouver-based band, and that is Blackwater Burial. Another from Blackwater Burial. Uh, if you guys are interested in checking out any of these local bands, I'll be sure to link them in the description below. Up next, we have a shirt that I just got recently, and that is from the horror punk band Blitzkid. If you aren't familiar with Blitzkid and you're into punk music, or if you're into bands like The Misfits, I highly recommend checking them out. I think they should be way bigger than they are. Unfortunately, they don't really tour much anymore. But yeah, definitely check out Blitzkid. Another Blitzkid shirt, which I believe they released as part of the 100 year anniversary of the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Moving on to letter C, we have a shirt from one of my favorite bands of all time, Children of Bodom. This is from their Hexed album cover. Sadly, we just lost the lead guitar player and vocalist of Children of Bodom, Alexi Leho who is a big inspiration to me musically and is a big reason why I play guitar now. Up next we have another Children of Bodom shirt. This is based off their Hate Breeder album cover. Then on the back you have their Reaper and it says from now on we are enemies, you and I, which is the first thing you hear on the first track of the album, Warheart. Very cool album, very cool song, highly recommend checking it out. Up next we have the I Survived Lake Bodom, another Children of Bodom shirt that I got from their 20 year anniversary tour. Up next we have a shirt from a band that doesn't exist anymore. They're a band called Cadaveric Lividity, which used to be based out of Vancouver, BC. Next I have a shirt from the death metal slash death grind band Cattle Decapitation. This is from when I saw them on the Anthropocene Extinction Tour. Up next we have a shirt from probably my favorite black metal band, and that is 
Dark Funeral. Next I have a shirt from the band Dead Cross. Now Dead Cross features Mike Patton from Faith No More, Dave Lombardo from Slayer, and a couple members from The Locust. They've only put out one album so far, but it's a very cool project and the back says Dead Cross. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end it with that one. I have about 12 years worth of shirts I gotta go through, so I'm going to cut this up into multiple parts. But before I go, I have a question for you guys. What was your first concert? Let me know in the comment section below. That'll be it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit it with a like. And if you enjoy my content, why not consider subscribing? I got so much horror content in the works, and your support means the world to me. So with that being said, my name is Jay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay scary.